Deskin had a leg injury earlier on. Well, well, he's running away with it. He looks as if he's lost the ball, and Radford is going for the line. Now then, we were surely bringing Jeff Perry, but that took Mr. Smith totally by surprise. This needs a look, Jonathan. It's very difficult to say from that angle. I think it's Ryan Bailey who takes the ball in. And Radford just takes a loose pass and sprints about 35 metres. This will be an interesting... It's interesting, though, was it ripped out? Well, you can't see from there, this skin's in the way. I think you've got to look at the reaction of the player opposite. Watch the reaction of Barry McDermott. There's the angle that should come in, maybe. Well, again, it's a very tough call. Look at the reaction of Barry McDermott. Yeah. But he's bound to do that, isn't he? He's bound to say it was ripped out because he didn't fancy chasing Radford. I think what might be significant, everyone has left the in-goal area. No one appears to be looking for a kick and goal, but here's a better shot, perhaps. His left hand His left goes arm in. goes in, doesn't it? That's the angle you've got to look at. Let's have a look at this again. Here we go. Looks to me as if it's ripped out. Yeah, right arm ripped out. No try, I think, Ray. What do you think? I don't think it's a try, but... No try, penalty we'll, uh, leads. We'll leave it to Jeff Berry. Penalty leads, I think. No Here try. We are. <laughs> 20,000 cheer, 20,000 boo. Well, it's worth the go, Ray, isn't it? You know, it, it was a gang tackle. It was a gang tackle, and it was a decision that was forced to be made. Smith is. Yeah, that's the overhead uh, camera, the eagle eye spit, picking it out there, but Russell Smith was right on the spot, of course, and you cannot refer to the video for a forward pass. Leading try scorer in the game with 12 tries, Mark Collarwood. Adamson, oh! Now then, has that uh, cheap ball and jaw been tested there? He only has a chance! It's just held short, it's Connolly, but has he got it down? He looked for a double movement or a slide over the line. Fourteen years since.
Richie Brady's first Challenge Cup final, that lad with St Helens as a youngster. And here he is now again. Great break, first of all. Is he short? Has his elbow gone down? Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> he finally gets it down, doesn't he? Matt, do, does that elbow touch as he's uh, leading into the try? Happy birthday, Jeff Berry, the video ref. Two decisions <laughs> to make very early on the game. Does his elbow hit the floor? I think his elbow doesn't, his no, arm does. No. Is that momentum Still or going. is it a double movement? I think this is a try. I think this is a try. He gets it down. There's one thing, I don't think Jeff Berry will be eating any any birthday cake for the next 60, 70 minutes. His reaction was he think he thought he scored Gary. Right, this this might go back to the referee here, to be honest. It's a terrific effort by uh, by Paul Deacon, isn't it? To keep that arm up in the air and to stop it from going down. Just look at Deacon with his, uh, his right arm, though. Does his elbow hit the floor? Is it a second movement? The ball's hit the floor, his hand's hit the floor. Whether his elbow hits the floor or not, he tries to keep the ball up. I'm not sure what to call you. I'd call a try. It's a try if you exert downward pressure with the hand on the arm. And when players touch down simultaneously, it's a try. And there is Mr. Berry enjoying Ref's his goal. birthday. What do you think? I, I think he'll go for a try. He has. The difference the video referee makes. But a wonderful effort there from uh, Gary Connolly. Tries to get out for Leeds Highlands, number 18, Gary Connolly. And the hero of that semi final and that extra time up at Huddersfield there against St Helens, Kevin Sinfield. All square then, here at the Millennium. Lead six, Bradford six. Hard work being done there. Bradford keeping the ball close around the rook area, trying to dominate the midfield with this big pass. Good pass. Paul Deacon, Peacock. Good feet by Peacock. And well picked up by Vanganar. Off his toe caps. Peacock again. Shrugs off a couple of tackles. Long, tall, rangy second row. Oh, really? James Lowe's. Oh, knocked down, surely. Another six. Five, five, no, he's not. Uh, part of the tackle, says Mr. Smith. Hold up. It's all it here. Yeah, Barry McDermott took a man out off the ball. Right. Where are you? Not, not bad, bad, but he took the man out. He took all the ball without the ball. Without I saw the ball. a player go down. Yeah. I didn't know what happened. I didn't know they were going to kill him. Barry! <laughs> he knows he's done something. Watch he? Daniel Garner. There's there the tackle. Is. Supporting runner. Walk's not got the ball, right? That's next to all. Okay? I can tackle unless he's in position. That is what is called a uh, professional foul, way, I think. Not bad. Not bad, bad as the touch should said, but uh, it's bad enough, isn't it, if uh, it concedes two points. But uh, I think uh, Barry McDermott knew exactly what he'd done. And I think that uh, that has saved James Lowe's a bit of a talking to by Russell Smith, because he was chops in a way to Russell Smith, because the he hadn't restarted the tackle count. So uh, James Lowe's has got away with that, but Barry McDermott... Dermot didn't. Paul uh, Deacon, he was one uh, player who was delighted by the news that uh, the roof would be over this uh, great uh, stadium. He, he said it's much better to uh, kick at goal without any wind or rain to distract him.
Super League last year. Paul Deacon. a junior band here as well and they're pounding down the middle big man six foot seven there Wayne McDonald oh. ripped out oh and back chat and that's meant pulling back 10 meters James Lowe's has got to watch it there's a tackle on Diskin left arm is in there well, he certainly made a play for it, certainly made a play for it, but it, I don't think it was that bad because Diskin was trying to get his arms out of the tackle anyway, so again, the referee's call. It's a contentious issue, though, this uh, business of ripping a ball out, isn't it? It's so very difficult to decide one way or the other. You know, 50% of the crowd will never agree with the decision, will they? Well, if you just have a look at it, Diskin tries to get his hands over. I don't know if that is a penalty. Well, Mr. Smith does, and he's certainly got the experience in his uh, fifth Challenge Cup final. I mean, we thought it was going to be close, Ray. You know, it's nearly 20 minutes gone. Looks eight all. Kevin Sinfield, yep. another two points from the former Waterhead uh, amateur club there in uh, in Oldham. the two teams level again, eight apiece. Successful penalty kick for the Leeds Rhinos, but of a third.